How's it going, football lovers? Press the like button and comment on your favorite for the Ballon d'Or if the poll were held today. With that out of the way, let's get the show on the pitch. FC Barcelona's dressing room is confident that they will win the second leg versus Napoli. It's true, I've received offers from Saudi Arabia, but I love Inter. I told Inter board that I want to stay here. Inter will always be something different for me. Hakan Chalhanoglu shared. Brighton and Hove Albion owner Tani Bloom wants to transform the club into an established European name. He has ambitious transfer plans for the upcoming summer transfer window. Udinese attacker Gerard de la Feu said that he may not return to the pitch due to a serious knee injury. For several months now, I've known that I may not play again. Mauricio Pochettino does not count on Benoit Badiashile. Thus, Chelsea are planning to sell the defender in the summer. AC Milan are actively interested in the Frenchman's services. Marek Hamšík on the refusal to be part of the Napoli staff under Slovakia coach Francesco Calzona. One day I would like to return there, but this is not the right time. Robert Lewandowski is the second highest goal scorer in Europe in 2024, with nine goals. He's just two goals behind Kylian Mbappe, who's leading the race. Spanish Federation have activated formal clause to extend Luis de la Fuente contract until 2026. National team head coach, staying until the World Cup in USA. Joe Hart is retiring from football at the end of the season. 700 plus pro appearances in his career. Bayer Leverkusen are now 33 games unbeaten this season in all competitions. This is an absolute record in the history of German football. 33 games unbeaten record? I don't care before they happen, but when it happens, I'm really proud. Xabi Alonso claimed. Theo Hernandez is being considered by FC Bayern as a potential replacement for Alfonso Davies. There is nothing concrete at this stage, but Bayern is already working on a solution. Chelsea set a new PL high by charging £5,000 for one ticket when Manchester United comes to play. They are also charging £3,000 for the game against Tottenham and over £2,000 for the FA Cup match against Leeds United from the Championship. David Moyes says that West Ham United have offered him a new contract. He is waiting until the end of the season to decide on his future. QPR footballer Elias Shire has been sentenced to a year in jail in Belgium for fracturing a truck driver's skull with a rock during a dispute on a kayaking trip. Final is not about to play finals, it's about winning, Mauricio Pochettino stated. Rasmus Hoyland has picked up a muscle injury and won't be part of the upcoming games. The muscle injury is expected to keep him out for at least two to three weeks. Former Everton player Li Te has been sentenced to life in prison in China, relating to corruption charges. Galeno's goal versus Arsenal has been named as UCL's goal of the week. Sergio Aguero's cardiologist on Twitch. It's very possible that Sergio Aguero can come out of retirement. I would like to train a national team before a World Cup or a Euros before I retire, Pep Guardiola noted. Real Madrid have filed a formal request to La Liga to move up their final game of the season so they can have more time to set up the massive Taylor Swift concert at the Bernabeu. A host of clubs are looking to make a move for Manchester United centre-back Will Fish this summer after impressing on loan at Hibernian. With 31 goals, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang beats Radamel Falcao to become Europa's League's all-time top goalscorer. Real Madrid considered a move for Darwin Nunez last June before signing Jude Bellingham. Manchester United are no longer in danger of breaching the Premier League's profit and sustainability rules. United's annual income has risen considerably from £477 million to £648 million over the last three seasons, giving them more cash to spend this summer. A sports poll conducted in the US has revealed that Lionel Messi is now the most popular athlete in the United States. Messi becomes the first footballer to claim this title. Thomas Tuchel can well imagine coaching Manchester United someday, as he does not see his mission in the Premier League as completed yet. Wolves want £80 million for Pedro Neto this summer, David Orstein reports. Robert Lewandowski's goal against Napoli was Barcelona's first UCL knockout stage goal in 1,078 days. French referees will soon be equipped with microphones. FIFA has authorized French football to try using sound systems for refs to explain VAR decisions in important moments. They'll test it first during the women's D1 playoffs in the spring. 
Chelsea is leading Arsenal in the race to sign Victor Osman this summer. Oscar Bob is set for a new triple the wage Manchester City deal after impressing Pep Guardiola in his debut season in the Premier League. If Bayern fail to gain any points versus RB Leipzig, Leverkusen will be 11 points clear at the top of the Bundesliga. Sergio Ramos on weekend match versus Real Madrid. If I score, I wouldn't celebrate. But if I happen to score and it was enough for us to win, I would be delighted. Those three points would be very good for us. When I was young, I saw Benzema playing for Real Madrid. He was missing a lot of chances, but later he won the Ballon d'Or. I'm not saying I'm at that level, but I've seen it before. I'm not worried. Nicholas Jackson is short. Friends, if you still watch us without a subscription, it's time to change it. Pause the video and subscribe. You're welcome. And now let's have a look at the results of yesterday's fixtures. Moving on to the main news of the release. Neymar and his family have helped Donny Alves in his legal battle by paying 150,000 euros in damages. Neymar's family also made Brazilian defender Gustavo Chisto, one of the oldest legal representatives of Neymar's father companies, available. The two men are very close friends in life, and the Brazilian number 10 did everything to help his friend during his trial. The public ministry asked for 9 years in prison for Dani Alves. The victim asked for 12 years. With Neymar's help, a deposit of 150,000 euros was made, and the sentence was reduced to 4 years in health. Manchester City and Erling Haaland are open to the idea of renewing the player's contract and staying longer at the club. Those close to Erling Haaland left when they heard the rumors linking him to Real Madrid. Liverpool have already contacted Xabi Alonso's management, similar to Bayern. Bayern acknowledges the challenge in acquiring Alonso but considers him the top choice as Tuchel's replacement. Nevertheless, the other interesting info has emerged. Former Real Madrid boss Zinedine Zidane would return to management to take the Bayern Munich job, Sport as informed. Toni Kroos returns to the German national team and he will be part of the team in March. Why? Because I was asked by the coach. I'm in the mood. I'm convinced this squad can do special things at the Euros, Toni says. Real Madrid, optimistic about this as a positive signal to extend Kroos's contract also beyond this season. Personal terms between Real Madrid and Davies are not a problem. Real Madrid is willing to pay a maximum of 40 to 50 million euros in the summer. At this stage, Bayern expects him to leave the club in the summer rather than extending his contract beyond 2025. Real Madrid are keeping an eye on Ashraf Hakimi's situation. He could be an option for 2025, as reported. Saudi Arabia has its sights set on Mohamed Salah for the upcoming summer, and there is a chance they'll make another attempt to sign him. Manchester City is preparing to receive a huge offer from Saudi Arabia next summer to sign De Bruyne. Saudi league officials are working hard to tempt the player and bring him in. Saudi Arabia has placed De Bruyne high on their transfer wish list as they look to continue increasing the profile of the game in the Gulf state. Ter Stegen has received an offer from Saudi Arabia too, Ashraf Benayad informed. Casemiro is also a target of Saudi clubs. El Chiringuito TV revealed the details of PSG forward Kylian Mbappe's future contract with Real Madrid. The 25-year-old Frenchman will earn 14 million euros. He will also get a signing bonus of 40 million euros. As for income from sponsorship agreements on image rights, the footballer will receive 100% of the agreements concluded before his move to the Spanish Goliaths and 80% of the new ones. 20% will go to Los Blancos. Kylian Mbappe to Real Madrid is a matter of time now, Fabrizio Romano informs. Guys, check out the new video on our Fanatica project, which focuses on careers of top managers as professional footballers. You'll be surprised at the clubs that Guardiola, Klopp, Mourinho and others played for. Have a great time watching! The Football News Channel was with you, the most informative football YouTube channel. Have a good day everyone, bye bye and see you in a bit!